What is up guys? Dave from Six Strings Stern coming to you live again for this channel created. So we're gonna continue working on the old uh So we're gonna continue working on the uh, Stratocaster here, or Stanger Caster, whatever you want to call it. Um, I went ahead and took the body out just to take time, and I uh, taped off the sections that were kind of screwed up on the edge, where a little bit of the green bled through. I don't know if you guys remember that, but uh, so that's out there in the garage. I'm gonna go ahead and start outlining this here with a good old-fashioned sharpie, just like I did the body. So we'll start on that first, and then we'll bring the body in here and keep working. Hey guys, so all in all that turned out pretty good. It pops just like the front of the guitar. So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, sand this down lightly. I've already sanded it before, but I'm just going to give another good, good sanding real quick. And uh, then we'll put a light stain color on this uh, like I do with all my other uh, Stanger type guitars. So go ahead and sand this down. Alright guys, so yeah, this is just a natural, uh, natural wood finish. I don't like a lot of darkness on uh, necks. So that's the same as I did my uh, Flying V and all those other ones, the SG, things like that. I don't like to have painted necks. I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm just weird. <laughs> but uh, so yeah, that's done. Alright guys, so hopefully I don't screw this up. Since I got black around the colors and stuff on the top, I'm going to go ahead and put a black edging around underneath that green. I think it'll kind of help it out a little bit. It'll either make it look right or it'll screw it up one or the other. So we'll see what happens. Alright guys, so we'll let that set up for a little bit and uh, we'll take the tape off of it and see what we got. Oh, oh, oh boy. So I'm going to go ahead and put a matte clear finish on the neck. I don't like a lot of uh, high gloss on there, so just to seal it up, 
and uh, then we'll do the back plate. I'll put a like a vinyl sealer over top of that because I use a Sharpie marker. Let's go ahead and uh, spray this down. So this here has the Sharpie on it and I'm going to put a vinyl sealer over that because I've learned in many uh, projects that if I use Sharpie and try to use a clear coat it makes it run. So this will just kind of put a protective sealant over top of it. Right, guys moment of truth I'm gonna go ahead and pull off all this tape and stuff hopefully we have a nice crisp black line and if not then huh, we'll just chuck it in the trash <laughs> no, just kidding we'll see what happens didn't turn out too bad. Uh, got a nice thin thin black line around there. Uh, there's a couple spots that I gotta deck out a little bit but all in all it turned out pretty good. So I think unfortunately now I was wondering before but I think now that I got that there I'm gonna go ahead and take the black marker and just kind of go in between these spots here just to make sure that's all tidied up and cleaned. Might tie it all in even better so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. guys so like the back plate I'm gonna go ahead and hit this with the vinyl sealer to protect any of the runs from the uh, Sharpie and I'm gonna do the same thing to the body all right guys so I went ahead and uh, kind of tried to fix all the spots that was kind of screwed up as best as I could um, yeah, it's kind of a, kind of an interesting situation, but, uh, I mean, all in all, it didn't turn out too bad here, so I'm going to go ahead and put the, uh, vinyl sealer over this so we can put our finished coat of our, uh, you know, covering over top of it, make it nice, so this will just keep the, uh, like I said, keep the Sharpie from running. So we got a good first coat on here and uh, we'll just kind of let this dry for maybe 15-20 minutes and uh, come back and do another coat. Alright 
right guys, so that's got a good solid two coats of the vinyl sealer on it. So uh, I'll let that dry and then I'll hit the back up. All right guys, so I got a nice uh, matte finish or satin finish I guess over top of this now. Um, that way it'll protect the Sharpie on there. Uh, for whatever I decide to do, whether I spray it with something or I just put like clear or not a clear but true oil over top. Same with the headstock here, got it done. I did put a matte uh, finish on the back. Um, you know, just a regular old, good old matte finish clear on the back there. So, not sure if I'm going to do a true oil finish or what. Just And the only reason I would do that is just because of the, the way the um, weather is here in Ohio. <laughs> I know I keep bringing that up. This is a bad time to try to do this if you have nowhere to really um, you know, do this type of stuff. Like uh, if you had a big garage and a lot of exhaust fans and it's really warm and you can control the humidity levels, uh, it's not really a good time to do this anyway. So, but uh, we'll just kind of stop it here. Not sure what I'm going to do as far as a, a top coat finish. Maybe you guys got some suggestions what I could use with the vinyl sealer. Um, I mean, honestly, it doesn't really look that bad. And if I thought it would just stand up to it, I'd just leave it alone. Um, I mean, it doesn't really look that bad at all. Um, so, you know, let me know down in the comments what's going down. I've never really used a vinyl sealer before, but, you know, for, a, for doing this. But I do know that it would protect the Sharpie, like I said, from running if I decided to do a, um, like a gloss clear, which I can't do. <laughs> so anyway, uh, might be the true oil. Who knows? Just drop some comments down below. Guys, if you like the video, give it that thumbs up. I appreciate it so much. Thanks to all new, my new subscribers. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Sorry this is taking so long. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Later.